Hello and welcome. How are you doing, my friend? And next, I am planning to show you that how we can find visually in our car's engine that what of those coils, those spark plug coils, what if what is of those, what of those is broken? And this is like visual testing. An idea is now that I have one of these coils. And we go to loop those closer. And we loop those closer. One of these, this is coil, 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 coil. There's four coils and one of these is broken. And how I can find that what is those coils is broken. And now there is a situation that when I start my engine, there is four cylinder engine. This engine runs poorly. It little bit shakes. And let's look at how it happens when I start my engine next. Okay, and then when I am planning to take this plastic cover out, I need my I need my 10 millimeter socket and then friends. And there is two nuts what I need to open. This is first one, and then there is second. Okay, and now it's, it's okay. And then I can, there is the second nut. Then I can lift this plastic cover out. It looks like that. And then I can next look this ignition coil. Okay, and now I start this my engine, and we can see that this engine moves and vibrates. So. Now we can see that it, it shakes, it shakes. Okay, and, and the issue is that this engine was shaking and moving that way. That way. And then this metallic sound was a little bit different because I have one part loosened in here and it is like this X housed manifold manifold this heat shield but it is different issue. But next I will show that how we can find that what, the, what of these coils is broken. And for that te test we need to go next in inside cabin area. Okay, now we are in cabin area, and next I start this engine again, and now I am planning to, this test happens so that, that we need to check this rev meter, and this rev meter gives to us this, this solution, that what of those coils is broken, and idea is that that we check that how much this rev meter moves when I unplug those ignition coils cables. And, and next when I start we can see that what is this base level. And, and base level is now like this 1050 revs when everything's like zero and then this metallic sound it is, the issue, it is when this heat seal is moving and now I think that when I start to take those cables, ignition coils, ca ignition coils cables out, that if something happens in here, this, this means that, that one coil is damaged. Okay, and then I 
then, then I end this my engine. Okay, and now when engine is off, remember always to take this key away. And because this is a little bit risky job, that do not ever go to touch those ignition coils if engine is running. Because that ignition coil can kill you if you have power on, and this power on means that in that way, and especially when this engine is running, that kind of situation can kill you. And that always take ignition key away, and then we can go to look our engine area. Okay, and here is this our engine area, and I have take out this plastic cover in this my engine and this is like first coil, second, third and fourth and my st I start that my job in here and the idea is to unplug and unconnect these electric cables and now this coil is off and then we go to look this our engine uh, rev status and that means that if now engine speed is uh, similar then this coil was already broken but if engine speed and revs are lower that means that this coil is okay and let's go to start engine and look that what happens next okay now this cylinder one is off and then I take take my key and now there was situation that if this revs are lower than 1050 it means that this coil is okay but if there is no any change that means that this coil is damaged and then I start engine okay now engine speed is lower and that means that that coil is okay and engine shakes let's go to look that okay and now engine is running even badly this way is really fast. This way. Okay, and that means that when engine is vibrates more, now I can turn off this my engine, and it means that that coil is okay. And that I go to next. I go to uh, look that again on, and then I take second coil off. And let's go to do that next. Okay, and it means that this coil is okay, and I connect that back carefully. Please check that it is okay, and especially these cables. And then I unplug that second cable. And now, if there happens so that engine vibrates again badly, it means that this coil is also okay. But if there is no any rev change then this coil is damaged and then I go to start this engine again okay and now I start again and it's second cylinder okay engine speed is again bad and that means that this coil is okay and that means that when revs becomes lower that second Ignition coil is okay and, and fine. And then we go to change coil next. Okay, and this coil was also fine. And that's I connect these cables back. And please sure that they are fine. And then next coil and I take cable out. And we test that third ignition coil next. Okay, and now I test this third ignition coil and test means that if revs are lower than 1050 revs there is this multiplier then this coil is okay but if there is no any change this coil is broken okay and this means that engine runs badly also okay and that means that this third coil is also okay and we have only one coil left and we are almost in the solution 
let's go to test the final coil. Okay, and now it means that this coil is also fine and I connect these cables back in there. Good. And this is the final coil and I take this cable out. And now if this engine revs are like I estimate this 1050, this means that this coil is bad. Okay, and let's go to do a test. Okay, and now I am testing the final one and the last coil what now should be and actually must be in damage and that means that now if this revs amount is this 1050 everything is fine because if this coil is already broken it don't work and now when I take this cable off it means that it is like double faulty and it means that there is there is no any changes and that's I Start this my engine next. And let's look. Okay, and now this revs is just this 1050, and that means that this is the bad coil. Okay. Okay, and now situation is that I believe that this coil is damaged because there was no any change that when I <coughs> when this cable was on or off there's there was no any there was no any changes in cars running speed and ill speed and that's I replace this coil and I have purchased this new coil what I am next planning to install in there and let's look at what it makes to this engine running. Okay, and here is this my new coil. It looks like that, and this is this old. And I need this 10 millimeter socket, and I insert that in here. Then I, my friends is here, and I take that old, old coil. And that way. And then I insert that new coil in there. In that way I'm blocking bolt also. And this was this old coil. And then I fasten then I fasten this bolt. Okay, and then, then my tool. And because this is because this is plastic, only careful force, like 10 newton meters, not too much, because we can damage this bolt. And then I connect this cable back, and now if everything is as I planned, now this engine should work well. And let's go to do that next. Okay, and now I test that what happens when I have replaced this new ignition coil that is there now this engine speed what amount is the still 1050 and, and and it is actually a little bit higher like 1100 and engine is running very uh, smoothly and let's go to look that okay and now engine is running very smoothly and look no any vibration okay and now this ignition coil test and this fault, faulty diagnostic is ready and we found that that coil was broken and now I have replaced it and now everything is fine and thank you for watching that video and have a nice day to you